Today I'm gonna do a first impression, wear test, demo, try on, review of the new NARS Air Matte products. I'm really excited. They came out with new cream blushes and lips. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. I picked up two of the four shades that are available exclusively at Ulta, I checked. I ordered it and I got it within a day. So that's why I'm filming this and hopefully getting it up also within a day. We shall see. Basically, I ordered the two colors that appealed to me the most because I just want to try out the formula first before like, you know, going to ham. I got Freedom, which is a mauve. And then I also got Orgasm, which is that classic NARS iconic color, a peachy pink with golden shimmer. So those are the two that I got and the ones that I'll be trying today on my face. It says on the website, the NARS Air Matte blushes are a unique mousse blush that transform into a velvety powder for a weightless cloud-like wash of cheek color. I mean, I don't know about you, but that sounds... Heavenly. It says as innovative sensorial formula. All right. Natural wash of color and easy buildable application. We'll see that when we try it on. As you can see on my face right now, I have everything on minus blush and lip. So if I look dead, that's why. So that's all about the blushes. There's four shades. I was really excited about the lips because I am all about like a soft velvety matte lip. The Rare Beauty soft matte lip creams, as y'all know, are probably my favorite lip formula ever. There are other Asian brands that do similar formulas like Sunny's Face, 3CE. That type of soft matte formula is 100% my favorite. I love the look of like a soft velvety lip. How many times am I gonna say soft and matte and velvety? But anyways, I got one of them and I got it in the shade Thrust. That's what she said. <laughs> You're gonna be hearing a lot of weird NARS type names throughout this video. But anyways, there's actually eight of these shades, which is amazing because this formula is really promising. And I got Thrust, which is the warm beige. It just seems to have a ton of other pretty colors that I'm definitely, definitely gonna check out if I like it, which spoiler alert, I high key. It says the NARS Air Matte lip colors are an innovative new formula that glides seamlessly onto lips for airy long wear matte lip color with a comfortable feel. Limited edition. Okay, well that's kind of important. I'm not really sure if the entire range is limited edition, but I saw it indicated on the lip product, so we'll see. I really hope not because from what I've tried, I love it. So please NARS. Don't do that to me. Anyways, without further ado, let's just get into the demo portion. Comes in this cute little tub. The packaging is almost exactly the same as the NARS Creamy Concealer, the one that comes in a pot. So this is in the shade Freedom. Really showing a pink on camera, which is weird because on the website it lists as a mauve. That does not look like a mauve, right? In person and in real life, it's a lot deeper, but you'll see probably when it goes on my face, it doesn't look as like bright pink as it's coming off on camera just because of how bright my lights are. It looks like a mauve, like it has like a purpley tint to it, but it looks cute. I'm excited to try it. And then this is, the shade Orgasm, again, same. Looks like the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And this is that shade that everybody, you guys know. This is the NARS Orgasm Blush. It looks like a really pretty peachy pink. It looks like what you think it would look like, so that's good. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I think my brain just committed suicide. Anyways, I'm gonna use Orgasm on this cheek and Freedom on this cheek. I'm also gonna apply them in different ways. I'm gonna use a sponge on this side. So only now in editing do I notice after doing my research on the Ulta website, it specifically says to use with fingertips or a blush brush. It does not say to use a sponge and it says to layer and build intensity for desired effect, layering from sheer to full which I totally agree with. I should not have used a sponge. It was not meant to be used as a sponge. The formula just does not work with it because it's so like moussey, spongy light. The pigment really picks up when you use a brush the most for me. But anyways, just so you know, it said not to use a sponge. It's not its fault. It was a user error. I should have done my research better. I'm so sorry. I'm a first impression novice. I'm definitely gonna get better. And yeah. And then I'm gonna use a brush on this side just so we can see like which type of application method we prefer. Depending on the formula, I switch between using a brush and a sponge. So let's just see. So I'm taking my beauty blend. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. Not very hygienic, but I don't know what to say. Um, 
That's a very interesting formula. Maybe the method to go by here is really just to stick my finger in and then push it on there. It's very interesting. It's almost like made for finger application. Aww. Are you guys seeing this? It definitely has this like powderiness to it that I feel like it's almost kind of weird when I apply it with my sponge. I've never felt a texture like this. It feels like, like moon sand. Do you know what that is? What feels squishy to touch, easy to mold, and fun to hold? It's moon sand. Am I exposing the fact that I'm a millennial? The lights are really freaking bright right now, so it's hard for me to see. I'm just applying more and more because I feel like I can't see it. Um. I think it's cute. What do y'all think? I'm gonna put it on the other side and then we'll make final decisions, but the texture is very interesting. It's very balmy and moon sand-like. You know what moon sand is? I'll pop a picture up. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with Freedom and I'm excited because I'm gonna use my brush, which is actually like my go-to method for applying cream products. I love using the e.l.f. It's my favorite cream blush brush. Just dipping it straight in, which I know is probably a yak. This one's promising, I know it. I just know already. Mm -hmm. Okay, automatically I love this one so much better. The color is there. This one is really pretty. I think the color is just popping in here. The other one like coming off a little too light for me, a little too pinky and light. But this one is very much, she has arrived. Ooh, okay. I love the glow that this gives you. You see like how there's a glow? This formula gives you a glow, which is unexpected. Cause you know, I thought it was matte. It definitely is a very soft matte type of blush. And I think, first of all, this color is divine. 1000% Freedom is my favorite over Orgasm. Orgasm is just a little too pinky. And Freedom is like my type of color, but I'm really enjoying this formula. It really does feel lightweight and airy. I don't feel it on my face. I don't know why the other one just felt so balmy. I felt like I had to keep applying it and it wasn't showing up, but maybe it's not using a brush. So I'll go back in with the brush on this side just to see like maybe it was the application. Anyways, I really love this color. I really love that there's like a glow with it and it looks very soft and velvety. It does feel like it's set down, which I love. I just think it looks really healthy and pretty and natural. I think this is cute. I'm pretty stoked. I wonder how this would be as a lip color. This is cute. I feel like it would work as a little lip stain. I think that's really cute. I really like the shade Freedom. I think it's looking quite pretty on this side. I've done this way too many times. I'm really liking it. I'm gonna go in and try to apply Orgasm with a brush just to see like if it was using my sponge as the issue and not the formula of this one. So. If Put it on my brush. Okay, now that I'm applying it 100%, I think it was using a sponge and my finger that I didn't like about it. Like it just wasn't coming off pigmented. Most times I love using a brush for cream products, especially cream blushes, because I feel like it just applies the pigment better. I feel like obviously a sponge shears it out. And I like just, you know, some pow type of action for blush, because I love blush. Obviously, as you will see, as I keep applying and end up looking like a clown. Okay, now that I've applied it, I also like orgasm. <laughs> I'm sorry, this video is so messy. I've never filmed a first impressions before, I think. I think I've only ever filmed the first impressions once, so I'll, I'm still like a noob at it. My favorite way to apply these is with a brush. This is freedom on this side and orgasm on the right. Let me know which side you like better. I honestly really like both. I usually like going for more dusty tones, so that's why Freedom is an automatic favorite, but like Orgasm is really cute too. It just depends on the mood. Overall, I think they're both really pretty. I feel like it does feel set. So cream blushes, 
success. Definitely recommend applying with a brush. And I just like that they don't mask my dew. I feel like they give me a very soft, natural finish. Now I'm gonna try the lip product, which is actually what I was most excited for. Again, this is the shade Thrust. And this is their Air Matte Lip Color. I'm not gonna be fake. I got too excited when I first received it and tried it very quickly, very messily. And I loved it. It reminds me so much of the Rare Beauty formula. It's like almost exactly like it. For me, it's exciting because I love the Rare Beauty lips, but like there's really only two colors that I wear over and over. The fact that basically I'm getting a shade expansion, albeit in a different brand, a shade expansion nonetheless. More options for this Gemini. I love it. For First of all, the packaging is so nice and sleek. It's like that soft matte, soft matte velvet touch type of packaging, very similar to their soft matte velvet foundation. Really cute packaging, this color, this color is everything guys, let me show you. When you first apply it, it looks dark, but then you blend it out and then it's the most beautiful brownie brownie pink dusty warm goodness it's like a soft sheen to it it's not drying whatsoever first i'm gonna line my lips with my all-time favorite lip liner the m cosmetics kitten lip liner and then i'm gonna apply the lips so okay. so i apply the lip liner i'm gonna go in now with the lip color in thrust it's so pretty when i saw it i already knew i already knew i was gonna love it so pretty it really is like holy grail my lips but better type of shade i'm gonna ramble on and on because that's what i do about products i love so so happy i picked this one up it's so pretty it does not feel like it sets down so like do with that what you will i feel like the rare beauty ones maybe are a little bit more long lasting because this one almost has like more of a slip to it but it has that same type of formula that i love where it's soft and matte looking it does not look dry and crusty and isn't dry and crusty at all. I love the shade. So this again is the shade Thrust. I think it's so pretty. This is like my type of shade. It's just completed the look. I'm obsessed with this lip color. It feels exactly like the Rare Beauty lips. It's so weightless and thin. Like it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. This is the type of lip formula and color that I would wear on an everyday basis. Perfect peachy, matte, beigey nude. I'm so excited that another brand that I love has come out with this type of formula because this is just my type of lip formula, guys. Anyways, to not ramble on and on, all in all, I'm really happy with all of these products. I'm glad I got them and tried them. I'm really excited for the fact that they're doing this type of airy velvet matte type of formula. It's my favorite type of formula and I think it's perfect for us going into spring. I hate saying that. It makes me really sad because I love Christmas time, but facts are facts. It's gonna be a really beautiful like going into the new year type of formula and I really like it. Let me know what you think of all the products and how they applied overall. I hope this video was helpful for you and I 100% recommend that you pick up these products. They feel really nice. For me especially, I really recommend the shade Freedom for the blushes and the shade Thrust, the lip color. I'm 1000% gonna pick up other lip colors because like I've told you, my favorite lip formula and I've been looking for more shades. Like I hope Rare Beauty comes out with more shades because I love that lip formula so much. Right now they mostly have like dark, more out there colors, but like these nudes, this is my ish. This is what I want. It still has that very soft, nice plush feeling that the Rare Beauty lips have. If you have those lips, you know what I'm talking about. And it has that, it's just so like nice and lightweight. But yeah, I love this lip color. This is what I love to wear on my cheeks too. If NARS comes out with this color of those blushes, I would be obsessed and I would 1000% be all over that business because it's beautiful. I'll let you know how everything lasts. Hey y'all, so just a little lip update. I wore the NARS lip for about six or seven hours the past two days. And basically I would say that by the sixth or seventh hour, it leaves a nice stain, very lightly pigmented behind, but it definitely doesn't maintain that strong opacity that it has on first application. I mean, I didn't expect it to. And honestly for me on an everyday basis, I really like the way it wears. I'm comfortable with the stain it leaves behind. And if I did want to reapply, it's super easy 
lazy and I've been doing that because it's not like a true crusty crusty matte liquid lipstick. It's like the perfect formula for an everyday lip. I like that it's like not so creamy that it slides off your face. Where's exactly like the Rare Beauty lips? Maybe the Rare, it's like a tinge bit, tiny, tiny, tiny bit more long lasting, but in general, it basically wears the exact same. It's definitely not as long wearing as a boast, just personally in my experience, but I've eaten it with like pho and things that really put it through the ringer. So maybe just like day to day though, it definitely doesn't just fly off your face. I would say it still has a good six, five hour wear. It'll leave you with a nice gentle stain. But anyways, I hope that helps. Peace out friends. Anyways, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Please remember to like this video, comment down below your thoughts on the new products, the formulas, what do you think about what it looks like? Are you interested in picking them up? I'd love to chat with you all down in the comments below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you're excited for the videos coming up. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for 500 subscribers. And yeah, hope you all have a beautiful, beautiful start to the new year. Bye friends.